Hello friends and fellow Tarnished. We've had Elden Ring DLC for quite some time now, and with it came a lot of new content and answers to a lot of our questions. There is one quest, however, that has been in the game since release that the community has still yet to solve. And it all starts with this guy. Yeah, I'm talking about patches. This quest is very strange, and the steps to complete it are very complicated as well. And like I said, no one has figured out this quest yet. Even the official wiki says the next step to this quest is unknown. So if you've got any ideas or suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. But without further ado, let's get started. We begin in the Murkwater Cave in Limgrave, where at the end of the dungeon, we fight Patches, where upon defeat he will surrender. Ah, well what do you know? Now, now how did I get that wrong? I took you for a demi-human or some such. <laughs> I'm Patches, tarnished like you. If we choose to forgive him, he tells us that next time we see him he'll be ready to open up shop. Yeah, I'll be ready to wheel and deal. <laughs> next, we find our friend in Lyurnia of the Lakes, where he has indeed opened up his shop. It's been a long while. It's me. Patches the un- I'm still in business. Now I'm my only supplier. Patches Emporium. Here he also tells us about Raya, the snake girl, and also about how to use the abductor virgin at the bottom of Rhea Lucaria to get to the base of the Erd Tree. I'm so right. It'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Erd Tree. <laughs> <laughs> Next, once we make it to Mount Gelmir, we will encounter Patches again, where he finally does his trademark kick you off the cliff move. Well, if you really are that gullible, <laughs> then stay away from the Volcano Manor! <laughs> Bye now! Now we have to come back to where he kicked us off and find him crouching in some grass. Well, here you are. Oh, so sorry for that. Despite my best intentions, I... Here you are. And my warning was spot on. Stay clear of Volcano Manor. So, of course, our next stop is Volcano Manor. Well, you joined the map. I don't believe it. Now we need to follow some contracts for Volcano Manor and return to Patches, who will give us a letter. Ah! This is for you. Not only can he not be trusted, he's lazy as well. Now we have to go hunt down and kill his contract, the Great Horned Tragoth. Hello again. Welcome to Patch's Emporium. You hunted down Tragoth? Are you certain? No, it's quite alright. Fine work indeed. After resting and returning to Patches, he will indeed give us a reward for completing the contract. Welcome to Patches Emporium. <laughs> Sharper than you seem, aren't you? I was just holding on to it for you, you know. Here you go. The reward for hunting Tragoth. All yours. And then for some reason decides to talk some shit before you leave. Stingy little beggar. Try to find it in your heart next time, eh? Now, to progress our quest, we must complete the Volcano Manor quest line and defeat Rikard the Blasphemous. Oh, very well. Now you've gone and killed Rikard. <laughs> you scheming little bastard. Now, return to Patches, who will have a bit of dialogue and tell you that he's leaving. Perhaps a tarnished will be Elden Lord after all. <laughs> well, here I am, untethered, once again. Goodbye, my friend. After this, we'll find Patches much later in the Shaded Castle area. Just before the boss fight, we'll find Patches wounded in this hallway with a bunch of statues. Oh, you, you again. A shame you had to see me like this. Oh, I, I had a bit of a slip-up, that's all. I should have stuck to what I know best. After talking no, to you a bit, 
He will give you an item and tell you to take it to none other than Lady Tanith of the Volcano Manor. A good soul. Make certain that Tanith gets this. The item description reads, Castanets used by dancers from foreign lands, received from patches. The passionate dance comprises no seductiveness, but merely a dignified beauty. Back on your high horse where you belong. We find Tanith back in Rikard's boss room, literally eating his face. And when we give her the dancer's castanets, this is what she says. What is it? I have no need of that. I must continue devouring my beloved lord. Oh, you. Allow me some time. Our lord's carcass is not easily consumed. Now, we can find Patches again by returning to his cave and opening the chest very reminiscent of the first time we met him. Now, if you let Patches start attacking you without killing him, he will recognize you and this happens. Don't tell me! Is that you? Oh Christ! Please, wait! I surrender! I surrender! I swear! At this point, we unlock a new emote called Patches Crouch. Ah, it's been ages since I've seen you. I didn't even realize it was you. Took you for a demi-human or some such. Oh, you know how it is. Just an innocent mistake. Water under the bridge, eh? Back to business as usual. Now, when we return to Patches, he will have once again opened up his shop, allowing us to buy items from him. And just in time for the grand reopening of Patches Emporium, where you won't need a refund, because everything is top notch. And after everything we've been through, he doesn't even sell any new items. Now, if we return to Tanith, nothing happens. There is nothing else we can do with this item. There's no NPCs in the game that will accept this item. It quite literally just dead ends right here. And even the wiki says the next step to this quest is unknown. The fact that we get nothing usable at the end of this very long, strange quest is very unsettling. It makes me think that this quest was unfinished by accident or that they were going to complete this quest in some kind of upcoming patch or DLC, but even after the DLC, we didn't have any answers to this. I don't want to make this video too long, so like I said, if you have any ideas or anything, let me know down in the comments. If you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe to help the channel keep growing. And until next time, peace.